So let's get right to it. The scene set, the actors in place, and the hidden cameras are rolling. Love and marriage. It may go together like a horse and carriage, but when the loving couple is bride and bride, or groom and groom, that carriage sometimes can come to a screeching halt. Arguments for and against same-sex marriage made their way to the Supreme Court, where just two weeks ago, justices shattered the notion that marriage is solely between a man and a woman. The federal government can no longer discriminate against the marriages of gay and lesbian Americans. The Supreme Court changed that law, but it may not have changed opinions. They attack something that they have no jurisdiction over whatsoever, the foundational unit of our society, which is marriage. So we set up shop at A Little Cake Bakery in Park Ridge, New Jersey, to find out how people feel when confronted with gay marriage. Today, we're playing a lesbian couple, and we're getting married. I'm playing the homophobic baker, and I'm not gonna sell a lesbian wedding cake. Will people tolerate this kind of intolerance? They want to make an appointment, I guess, to do or cake just like, testing. What kind of cake? Um, a wedding cake. A wedding cake. And we, we would like this cake, but we wanted to know if it would go with this topper. Yes. You're having a lesbian wedding? Yes. I'm, I can't serve you. We just, we can't do a lesbian wedding. I won't do a lesbian wedding cake. Okay. That way. Okay. It quickly catches the attention of these women who spring into action. Myself. We would like to actually cancel our appointment because if you're not going to serve them, we're going to go to okay. Ladies, I'm right. sorry. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to compromise my morals no. for, for, for a we're, price? We're not. We're not saying that you should, but we're saying that we are going to take our business elsewhere and there's no reason why you cannot serve them. So, uh, we have, you know, that's totally your. But she's marrying, a, she's marrying a man. They're not. They're marrying each other. And that's and great that's for them. If they love each other, that's great. And they'll go somewhere where they will get served. Unfortunately, you will not do that, so we are going to leave actually as well. As the women walk out, they take our couple uh, with them. Come on, ladies. So, so upset. I'm sorry. I'm, like, shaking because I'm so pissed off that I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Time to let them in on our little secret. Stay out front. Let's go get them. Go. outside? Yep. What's going on here? I'm John Quinones with the TV show, What Would You Do? Oh, my, oh my God. God. I've seen this before. <laughs> For the Wait, whole... Wait, that was an actor? Can we go back and eat some cake? Yeah. <laughs> this happens in life sometimes, in yeah. real life. What do you say to that? There's no reason why people who are gay cannot be in love and get married. Mm -hmm. And everybody deserves the same service. Why, why should I get different service? Because I'm going to marry a man. Like Megan and Lori, most of the people we encountered throughout the day were quick to defend our couple. It's wrong. It's wrong. But I can tell you that... I won't come anymore. Some folks call Peter's behavior not only bad, but bad business. You don't impose your personal opinion on a customer. I'm sorry that he treated you that way. Nobody should ever feel belittled for who they love. And he doesn't represent all of us. Others used religion to defend the women. Do you believe in God? Yes. And if God didn't want him this way, he wouldn't have made him this way, correct? When you get to God, he doesn't judge you by your sexuality, he judges you by what type of an individual you are. Throughout the day, emotions run high. No, I'm so sorry. I'm like crying for you. Sorry. That's not right. I'm sorry? I'll try your behavior, actually. They're human beings, just like all of us. And then along comes this couple. He says he doesn't believe in same-sex marriage, but he feels the lesbian couple should not be discriminated against. They're entitled to love who they want to, the way that they want to, without the judgment of somebody else. But they're lesbians, period. There's no other way to say it. That's just, that's them. Back in the day, just because I'm black, they wouldn't allow me to walk in and sit at one of these tables and have somebody's personal belief because I'm black that they didn't have to serve me. Yeah, that's just how I feel. How you doing? Oh, TV. Are you okay? Wow. Your heart's beating, man. Your heart's beating. Wow. <laughs> you were shaken by this. Yeah. Yeah. You're in tears. Yeah. Why? It's just not fair. Making making a judgment call just because that person does not believe the way you do is, is just as the same situation as, you know, not allowing me to sit down at a restaurant because of the color of my skin.
You were pulling him out the door. Yeah, I didn't want him to get in trouble or anything. I'm like, let's go, let's mind our business and just go. But <laughs> they should be able to buy wherever they want to buy. But not everyone agrees with that. These customers seem willing to discriminate, but they refuse to be identified when the cameras come out. And with you, the platform is unbelievable. Just go with your way. Don't show anybody your paper. Put it on the damn tape yourself. And she's not the only one who feels that way. I just don't believe in it. That's the one thing. Every time I hear that they legalize it in the state, I'm like shaking my head. Erin Kristoff is shaking her head, too, but for a different we're reason. <laughs> we're getting married. Are you having a lesbian wedding? Yeah, isn't it exciting? <laughs> you, you two are getting married? Yes. Yeah, in Riverdale. Ladies, I'm just, I'm just going to be clear with you. Um, we, I won't do a cake for lesbian wedding, so you can take this back. We tell our actors to push it a little further. It's disgusting. It's, it's, it's literally, I cannot abide the lifestyle that you've chosen. It's really appalling to me. So please take that and go. We'll go somewhere else. Um, my aunt was in, in Brooklyn, but they had a beautiful cake. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm kind of like really freaked out. I kind of feel like I'm on TV right now. What was she like, this couldn't really have just happened? Sorry, are you guys still here? You're disturbing my customers. Could you just please leave, okay? Just go. Thank you. I asked you it nicely. It has to be fake. I cannot this. believe this. I cannot believe this. It's a thank you. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just can't sell out my beliefs. I don't agree with what you just did. I think that's horrible. It's time to give Erin her cake. Here's her cake, ma'am. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Holy <laughs> Am I allowed to curse? Yes. Holy <laughs> That was insane. Turns out she was right with her suspicions about us and the clerk. First of all, yeah. I was like, I don't understand how this guy <laughs> is turning away lesbians. I know. That's a trick. <laughs> That's right. Our discriminating clerk, Peter, is actually gay. It feels difficult for you to say these things. Yeah, it is. It's very emotional. Okay. It's hard. Throughout the emotional day of filming, the resounding message was that people deserve to be served, regardless of personal beliefs, a sentiment that really takes the cake. Why would you